From Channel 12, Arizona's leading news station, this is Action News. Good evening, I'm Mike Hambrick. And I'm Linda Alvarez. In the news tonight, the Environmental Protection Agency began its investigation of pesticide poisoning throughout the valley today. Cheryl Parker reports while people in East Scottsdale and West Phoenix welcome the EPA investigation, Indians on the Salt River Reservation do not. Just moments ago, Cheryl Parker tracked down one... They seem like perfectly healthy children, right, but some people are worried they won't be in the future. Not any federal, state, or local government interference into what they believe is a tribal affair. Just moments ago, Cheryl tracked down one of the EPA investigators and was told the EPA has decided not to go onto the reservation until the question of jurisdiction is answered. But penalties may be in the offing in other parts of the valley. Uh, those are combing areas in South Phoenix near the Gila River, checking for disease-carrying mosquitoes. Search began after a case of handling the river to get rid of the standing ponds, but that apparently would destroy wild fowl habitats. The state in an exclusive interview with Action News, Governor Bruce Babbitt talked with our Bob Salter about the many various regulation problems in our state, most notably the aflatoxin and pesticide problems. Bob says the governor is ready for some changes now. Up next, the federal government comes up with some of our airport relocation money. And the state's attempt to buy the governor a new airplane is back on schedule. We'll have these stories and more when we continue. Stay with us. He has more on that story tonight. Pam Schreiber. Quite an upset today, huh? Certainly. She she could get in trouble, you know. She played hooky today. She didn't go to school. She was out I think playing. they might let her buy They it. may, they may. Uh, she was out playing tennis. Just happens that she was playing against the U.S. Open's top seed, Martina Navratilova. And Pam Shriver pulled the upset of the year in tennis. A stunning 7-6, 7-6 double tiebreaker win over Navratilova. Covered what a Turnbull match, which was rained out today. Baseball pennant fever still burning in New York and Boston, Kansas City, Anaheim, Philadelphia, and Pittsburgh. Only one game having any bearing on the pennant race is over so far today. Philadelphia won to nothing over St. Louis, and that moves the Phillies just a bit more up over the Pirates. I think NAU will win over Portland State, so 3-0 and for the Arizona schools if they do it the way I predict. Tomorrow. We'll check you and see how you come out. Okay. All right, Steve. See you back at 10. Linda? He'll expand on that later. Stay with us. <laughs> Nice weekend, you say? Yeah, it's going to be a real nice weekend, and if you're in a musical mood, the band from Riverside, California, the Air Force band from over there, their show band is going to be in town. They're going to perform live at uh, Park Central, mm -hmm. and it's free. Of course, it's live. Cause Everybody right, loves yeah, it. Oh, band. yeah. Show band, show music is going to be great. It's free, and it's going to be at 8.30 in the morning at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Should be nice. Right. Lots of fun. Let's take a look at the pollution readings. Weren't too bad today. Ozone 91 at 2 o'clock this afternoon. That's moderate. Particulates 52 moderate. Carbon monoxide 11 at 5 o'clock this morning. That's in the good range. There weren't too many areas of rain across the nation today. In fact, in most cases, it was quite pleasant. Cool temperatures and light showers persisted over the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Rockies. Drizzle fell in northern Michigan and rain dampened parts of New York. Pennsylvania. Cold front dropping downs bringing cooler weather into this area. These are the afternoon readings. We'll have the highs tonight. At 10 o'clock. Our current temperature 97 Fahrenheit, 36 on the Celsius scale. The humidity 30 percent. The winds are out of the northeast at 9. The barometer 29.75 and steady. And the dew point 60 degrees. Our high today only 99. Didn't make it to 100. Our low this morning 78 degrees. And we had no precipitation. We've been getting a little rain around the state the past week. And this has helped reduce the chance of, rain, of uh, fire in our state forests. No fire restrictions are in effect for any of the state's recreation areas. So this will be a good time to go. Have fun, but be careful. There's still a good bit of moisture over the state, and a slim chance of showers will continue through the weekend in most areas of Arizona. Some minor changes will take place, however. There will be just a little bit of drying, but the possibility of afternoon and evening thunder showers, mainly in the east central mountains and the uh, southeast, will continue. Nevertheless, look for mostly sunny weather over most of the state. Humidity won't be bad. The temperatures will be pretty comfortable, just about in this same range. It's going to be a nice weekend. Forecast for Phoenix and vicinity, including Waddell and Whitman, but not Amato or Topowa. Tonight, fair, mild, low 75. And then Saturday and Sunday, it'll be mostly sunny with a slight chance of evening showers and warm. Highs 100 degrees. Monday, sunny and cooling thunder showers in the east and mountains 
uh, eastern mountains and the southeast. Tuesday and Wednesday be a lot the same, mostly sunny and not too warm. It's the way the weekend's going to pan out. It's going to be a good one. Sounds good. Thank you, Dewey. Extremely difficult. If you've been having trouble with your loafing around time, you'll want to see our next story. So hang with us. We'll be right back. Tim had a hard day. Tough day. <laughs> Thanks for having us in for news tonight. We will all be back at 10. See you tonight. Have a pleasant evening. This has been a presentation of Action News.